What happens to Galarian Slowpoke when you put it in an unpatched Pokemon Sword and Shield game? Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and a few weeks ago, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield updated to version 1.1.0. But more importantly, Pokemon did something they never did before. They added a completely new Pokemon to the game through an update. This little guy, because he was too slow to make it into the game originally. Now in the past, the Pokemon games made a pretty big deal when you added a new Pokemon mid-generation. The games would go out of their way and do whatever they could to stop you from trading them back over. For example, when Ultra Sun and Moon added new Ultra Beasts and Pokemon like Zaraora, the games forbade you from trading them back to Sun and Moon. But since Galarian Slowpoke is being added through a patch, it makes me think it might be possible through some way, shape, or form to get Galarian Slowpoke back into the base game. And if we can manage to get Galarian Slowpoke back into version 1.0, I want to see how the game reacts to it. Now I've done some messing around with the Pokemon games before, and I'm pretty sure if we get it back into version 1.0, it'll turn into a Pikachu. But I'm very curious to see what else happens, and if we could do any other weird stuff with it. Let's find out. Here we have my Galarian Slowpoke, and you might recognize this guy because this was the one I got in my video showing you how to get Galarian Slowpoke. And since the last time you saw him, he's been pretty busy. Look, he started up his own little Slowpoke family, how cute. And now we're gonna do some crazy experiments with him and his family. Alright, let's test out and see what happens when I delete the update data for this game, and we'll see if they still stick around for version 1.0. So let's close out this Pokemon Shield game. I think I also need to remove it from my Switch. There we go. And now let's go down here to Manage Software and we'll delete the software, which I believe will actually delete the update data as well. So let's go ahead and try that out. Successfully deleted the software. And now let's put it back into the Switch. So now let's try jumping back in game. We will not download the update. Wait a second. A software update is required. Update data will be downloaded now. They're saying I need to download the update, otherwise I won't even be able to play my game. That's kind of ridiculous. So what would happen if I didn't even have Wi-Fi to re-download the update? Would I just be locked out of the game? Yeah, I just straight up deleted my Wi-Fi from my Switch right there. So if you don't have any Wi-Fi, you press download, and then it says, please wait. What happens here? All right, we're waiting. And we're waiting. And we're still waiting. Oh, something finally happened here. Unable to connect to the internet, try again later. And then it brings up this little Wi-Fi menu here. Alright, so note to any of you guys, don't delete the update data if you don't have Wi-Fi. Luckily I could connect to my Wi-Fi and download the update and start playing the game again, but if you don't have any Wi-Fi and you delete the update data, you're kind of locked out of the game even if you're playing the physical cartridge. So unfortunately, trying to downgrade my game didn't work, which is a shame because that would have been by far the easiest way to do this. But never fear, Mike has another idea. So right now we're on my second Nintendo Switch, and I have a Pokemon Shield version on here that's still on version 1.0. So what I'm gonna try to do here is hop in game and try to trade a Galarian Slowpoke from my updated Pokemon game into my non-updated game. Now I know, there's no way this is going to work, but I'm kind of curious to see what's gonna happen if I try to do it. Let's check it out. So let's hop in game and set up a trade. Alright, so this switch, the one with the ditto right here, this is switch number one at version 1.0. And this one right here where I'm doing a little dance, boom! This one's on version 1.1. Let's go ahead and start a trade. Oop, wait a second here, we're getting a message. Your software version is out of date, so you can't connect to other players. And there's a giant space right in the middle there. If you want to communicate with others, you must update your software. Check the official website for more details. Ah, oh, they thought of that one, so I can't even communicate at all until I update my game. Well, it looks like Game Freak really thought this one through. We can't downgrade our game and we can't trade it over, but there is one more thing I could try. So using third-party modification tools, I'm going to take a save file from an updated Pokemon game that has Galarian Slowpoke and force it onto my Pokemon Shield version that's playing 1.0. Now let's go ahead, jump in game, and see what happens with our Galarian Slowpoke in version 1.0. I believe I had three of them in my party, so let's go ahead, open up the party right now, and see what happens to Galar Slowpoke in version 1.0. And they're there! They're showing a black Pokeball, and just like I thought, they turned into a Pikachu. Let's open up the menu and check this guy out. 
Alright, so, that's kind of weird. He turned into a normal type. It's a Pikachu that does not have a cry at all, no voice. The stats are there, though. The stats are definitely still there. I think those are identical to what they were before, and the abilities there as well, own tempo as well as the quick ball. The moves also got retained, growl, acid, yawn, and confusion, and when we check the met data, it's still exactly the same as it was in the other game, showing that it was met at Wedgehurst Station at level 12. What about when we open up Pokemon Camp? I was actually expecting the game to crash there. There they are though, they look just like Pikachu in Camp. Come on over here, come on over here. Do they sound like Pikachu? Do they move like Pikachu? Yeah, I guess so, that's kind of weird. That's really, really weird, actually. So, when we check them out in the menu, they don't have a cry, but when we open up in Pokemon Camp, they act exactly like a Pikachu would. <laughs> and one of them leveled up from playing in camp. But speaking of leveling up, since some of the data clearly got retained and carried over, I want to see if we could use this candy on one of the Slowpoke and actually get it to evolve into another glitchy Pikachu. Normally, Slowpoke evolves at level 37, so I'm actually kind of curious to see if this game recognizes it as a Slowpoke and lets it evolve, or if just nothing is gonna happen. Alright, gains 30,000 XP, level 78, and it looks like nothing. No slow bro for us today. Now here's something kind of interesting. So remember how like just two seconds ago this Pika Slowpoke, slow Kachu, I don't know what to call it, but anyway remember how just a few seconds ago its HP and its other stats were a lot higher? As soon as I got out of Pokemon Camp, the stats reset back to this really low value. Now that's pretty weird, but it makes a lot of sense because Game Freak did wipe out all the stats of the Pokemon that aren't in this game, so they all have like really low base stats. So it looks like as soon as the game actually had to use that information for something, I guess they had to use it in Pokemon Camp, it reset the stats all the way back down to that insanely low value. But again, the ability is still there, we still have the moves, and everything else stayed too. We might as well for the fun of it just jump into a raid battle over here and see what it looks like when it Dynamaxes. We'll go up against this Dynamax Dottler. Come on out, Slowpoke. And we'll go for Max Ooze. So I'm 99% sure this is just gonna look like a regular Dynamax Pikachu. But either way, it's gonna be kind of cool seeing a Dynamax Pikachu using Max Ooze. Come on out, big boy. The silence makes me uncomfortable, though. And also, look at that sprite next to Slowpoke's name there. Just that big, empty Pokeball. The silence is the most unsettling thing though. Usually when Pokemon Dynamax you hear some sort of cry, when Fat Pikachu Dynamaxes it goes pee. But this thing doesn't say anything at all. Finally! Alright! Slowpoke Pikachu, use the Max Ooze. I don't think that did any damage to this thing at all. Yeah, come on buddy, you're doing less damage than the Soul Rock over there. Although to be fair, normally Slowpoke isn't in this version of the game, so I can't get that mad at it. And it looks like we're going down now. Another thing I want to try doing is leveling up the low-leveled Slowpoke and see if they learn any moves. Normally, Galarian Slowpoke learns Growl at level 3 and some other moves on the way too. So let's go ahead, give this thing a candy and see if it learns anything at all. Yeah, it learns Growl, it learns Water Gun, it learns Confusion, so it tries to learn moves just like a normal Slowpoke would. Huh. <laughs> this is so strange. However, you might notice it did not learn acid like a normal Galarian Slowpoke would. So it seems like this little Pika-Poke here, and yes, that's what I'm gonna call it, Pika-Poke, <laughs> was trying to learn the Cantonian Slowpoke moves, because once again, Galarian Slowpoke just straight up didn't exist when they originally made this game. Now I guess the next question is, can these guys make babies? Let's go ahead and leave this one in the daycare along with this one, give her some money, and let's see, is everything okay? Your Slowpoke and Slowpoke are doing just fine, and they seem to get along all right. All right, so that seems like they might give us an egg. Let's run around for a little bit and see if it actually happens. Oop, that was actually quick. She crossed her arms. Let's get an egg from these two glitchy Slowpoke. Egg has been added to your party. Let's check it out. I feel like the last time I did this, the eggs, once we added them to the party, they just straight up disappeared. And it happens here too. I really want to know where these eggs are going. The game says we got an egg. We look at the party. The egg's not there. I go through all my boxes. There's no egg. It's just so, so confusing. Also, some of you might be wondering, well, we can't evolve them with candies, we also can't evolve the Pikachu Slowpoke hybrid thing with a Thunderstone either, which would normally evolve Pikachu into a Raichu. And there's one more thing I want to check out. I want to see if the shiny Galar Slowpoke is any different in-game than a regular Galar Slowpoke would be. So here we go, we have two shiny ones, well, they're supposed to be shiny anyway, in the box. 
You can see the little shiny icon on the menu, but when we check them out over here, it doesn't look like there's anything different. But in Pokemon Camp, is it going to show up as a shiny Pikachu? I don't think so. I think that's just a regular one right there. Well, she looks happy, and that's what really matters. And with that, my friends, you now know what happens if you somehow, someway, manage to get a Galar Slowpoke into an unupdated version of the game. This video is highly requested and something I was absolutely wondering about and had a lot of fun making, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content from me, absolutely hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new upload. Got lots of exciting content coming out very soon, so make sure you stay tuned. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.